Welcome brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create column chart in SSRS report. We'll be creating empty report then we'll create data set and then we will create a chart and we'll play with some properties such as background color. We'll see what are values, category group and series group on the chart and we'll play also we will also play with the show data labels in the chart. Now let me take you to the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and here is the data I'm going to use. This uh, data with table definition is uh, available on uh, www.techbrothersit.com. If you need to copy you can uh, copy from there. I will put the link in the description. So now uh, here is our data. We have uh, salesperson first name, last name, we have some products, uh, items sold. Uh, and then uh, we have city, state, country and region. So I want to create uh, a chart uh, where I will be using region, I will be using uh, items sold that I want to sum uh, how many items sold in each of the region. And then uh, one more thing uh, I would like to use uh, maybe a country and uh, we will see uh, how the chart will look like. Now let's go ahead and uh, create uh, the report by using SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. In the SSDT you can create a new project by going to the file and new and say project. I already have created one of the project called SSRS underscore project. Here is my shared data source. So if you need to create multiple reports it's a good idea to create a shared data source. So it is pointing to my SQL Server and database name is equal to sales so initial catalog is is the database name now we are going to go ahead and create a new report right click on the reports tab add new item and click on the report and here we will be saying column chart add click on the data sources add data source give some name I'm gonna call this one DS sales and uh, go to the use shared data source reference so we are pointing to the shared data source that's sales hit ok now next part is the data set data set is the result set returned by your query or store procedure now I'm gonna call this one D set sales and uh, use data set embedded in this report DS sales is our data source and now I'm gonna use the query here sorry I copied the uh, and copy this one so we can go ahead and copy this select statement if you have seen I'm copying everything that's not good idea if I don't need a salesperson first name last name and all those kind of thing I should be getting the data I need so it is wastage of resources anyways I'm getting more column maybe I want to play with them and show you guys but in your case get get only the columns you need never get more columns if you don't need them why you extract a lot of data and not use it so paste the query here feels looks good next uh, on the design surface uh, right click and say insert and this time we'll be selecting uh, the chart so here we have a uh, different types of charts uh, and as our video says column chart so I'm going to use the column so the, the column is automatically selected and this is the first uh, type of charts available here so I'm going to use this one we will uh, play with others uh, and I'm going to create other videos such as pi and line and spark line so we'll uh, use those types as well so in this video only column hit ok so this is how our column chart will look like now if you will double click or click here on the chart you will see let me hide this part or take this down a little bit so you can see the entire thing okay so now here on the chart data you see different things though first of all values so what values we want to use if you remember I was telling you guys we will be using the item sold that's what we want to sum so I would like to click here on the add button add field and say items sold so that's good it is doing the sum so there are other options available for us so we can do different things we can aggregate some average min max count standard deviations there are a lot of things we can do here in my case I want to do the sum of these items sold next part is 
category a group uh, on which we want to categorize them uh, and I would like to categorize them as a country so I'm gonna go ahead and select a country now this is it for now and we go ahead and let's see the chart let's expand it a little bit so give some more space and we see how it look like now preview your chart or report so this is how it will be looking like on this side y, y axis we see that it has numbers so 0 5 10 and 15 and 20 and if you see that we have France that comes above 15 so this is the data coming from our table so if you will go and take a look on the France so where is our France uh, Europe and France these are the two records so 10 plus 7 so this is doing the sum so 17 is the value what we see in this chart so that's why it is above the 15 so it is close to the 17 it is actually 17 right now so on this side on the bottom what we see we see the country names so that's how the our chart will look like this is called Excel um, oh, sorry access title we can go ahead and change them so I'm gonna go ahead and change them here double click and you will change this one to maybe country name you can do a lot of things with that you can make it bold italic uh, color change whatever you like you can do all those kind of things now here we are gonna call this one as items sold this is good now we are fine and uh, if uh, you want to name this chart or, or title this chart whatever the title you want to have it uh, we maybe we'll say uh, sale sale per original sale so whatever the name you like uh, or title for this chart uh, you can have it now it is called regional sale and if you see here item sold are on the y axis on the x axis we have a country name so that's how you will see them next part uh, what we want to include we want to include the region and uh, here we have countries uh, and then uh, what would like uh, to have a region as well so in the series group uh, you can add that so i'm going to go ahead and uh, add region so once i add that region is c on the right side we have region a with the blue color region b with the uh orange color i believe uh, i'm very bad with the colors so uh, but this is just to show you but uh, we will have more colors in this series and we can tell from there okay which uh, uh bar or column is a specific for which region so let's preview the report again and now you can see that we have asia that's the orange and then we have red that's for Europe so you can see that France and Germany they are in Europe these countries and that's why we see in the, them red North America we see only USA here and in Asia that's orange we see India and Pakistan and that's how you we can tell okay these are the regions and these are our countries and now we have on the y-axis uh, we have our items sold so that's our sum of the values next what we would like to see this is the 15 and I can tell like this is one or two for Germany or in for India what it is seven or six I can't really tell it will be really helpful if we can do something about it so if you click on these column bars and right click and say show data labels so this is how we will be showing the actual data or the numbers so now you see that uh, we can see 17 for France, 2 for Germany, 7 for India, 3 and 11 for USA. So that's how you will see the data on the uh, columns or uh, these uh, bars. Next, uh, this chart is pretty good. Um, I, I like it. But this is uh, uh, too dull. And uh, what we would like to do, maybe we would like to change some uh, colors. So we right click here, chart properties. And uh, here there are different things we can do. We can fill. Uh, and if we go to fill, uh, we have a gradient uh, and here we have a white color if we would like to change uh, maybe we would like to let me see if I want to make it uh, kind of green 
my selection is really <laughs> messed up for, for colors if we want to have a border you can have a border and uh, you have you can have frame whatever you like so there are things we can play with and learn those things now this this looks much better right so this is you have put, uh, put the frame around it you have uh, uh, changed the color uh, green and yellow together and uh, you can also if we would like to have go more properties you can click on any anything and go and say uh, properties uh, in series properties uh, now we are in the properties of uh, that numbers uh, we can have fonts uh, here we can change the fonts let's say 22 I want to make them big I don't want a black I want to have a let's say I want to have a um, corn flower blue I don't know see the, 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 now the numbers will be pretty big so you see the 17 and all that so you can play with any properties you have to just click there and then once you click there it will be selected and uh, you from there you can take a uh, take the properties right click go to properties if I would like to go to properties here title properties I want to change the title I can change the title and uh, I can do a lot of things here if I want to put the border maybe I want to put the pink border around it uh, I want to fill it with uh, some uh, maybe patterns no color uh, let's say white I don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm very limited on the colors right now okay so whatever anyways this is how you can play with the properties and create a, a beautiful chart and this is called the, the column chart so we three things we need to understand here we have the values we have the category and we have the series so we can play with them if we would like to have more information such as let's say we have states let's bring the states here in the category and then in the regions maybe we would like to add country and both of them so now if you go here you see Asia uh, India and uh, you have Asia Pakistan and this is come on the series uh, so you bring in the region and country and uh, then uh, uh, let me make it bigger the states are coming uh, here so instead of uh, uh, now we have uh, states here not country and uh, let's make it a little big so we can see everything This is more like a creativity and some people are really good in uh, creating charts and beautiful uh, uh, pictures and uh, some people are like me they just get the data and uh, but you now you can see that uh, by placing uh, a region and country on the series we can see that here and then uh, we see the states on this side we see all those details for each of the state and here are our items sold by states so thanks very much for watching this video and i hope you learned something out of it and if you like the video please subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video